One of the best Mega Mans in SoCal as well. Uh, Fallen, where art thou? Uh, don't even don't even start me. Don't even get me started on asking like where are the players from SMG. Right. But anyways, let's get in, into the crux of it here. And he's going that Meta Knight, you know, because uh, I think we had been watching him play a lot more Snake mm -hmm. as of late but maybe something in the Wolf matchup, or maybe just trying to break off the rust and bring out the Meta Knight once again. Maybe he saw, like, I switched his PR, and he was like, hold on, man, this isn't fair. I wanted it to be, I was the best Meta Knight. <laughs> 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 Mom said it was my turn to be yeah. the best Meta Knight, so that's what's probably going on. But nonetheless, uh, for him, at this point in the game plan, one thing that you do have with Meta Knight against a character like Wolf is you're able to just go off stage you have to respect the side B, the Wolf mm -hmm. Flash, for sure, because if you do get sweet spotted, you will get spiked, you will die, bad things will happen. But when you have advantage and you're going to sense that Wolf Fire, you're able to punish him as, as such. And that's one of the scary things about trying to edge guard Wolf, as you mentioned, and you have to respect Wolf Flash. It looks like on paper it's going to be so easy, and then you get Wolf Flash, then it's like, oh, yeah, that's what that, you know. That's the secret that's been you know you, missing. You, you see Wolf, but you didn't even account for the Flash. Right. All right, really good opportunity for him to understand. Like, the one thing I do like that AC's going for is he's kind of going for whip punishes, especially on Kate. He understands, like, okay, if he's gonna, if I, if I have this much space, I'm gonna account for that and then go for the punish here. A really good opportunity for him to go for cross up there, goes for a down tilt, watch yourself on that platform, up smash. Scary, not gonna kill though. And they're right back into it. He's got the grab, and what was once a pretty good lead for. AC is now looking like uh, it's a pretty even match instead. Yeah. Whoever's going to take this first stock is going to be really pivotal. Uh, AC was in good position, but that landing there, the right option to get out of that disadvantage situation. But AC the bully just keeping him on the ledge. Oh, going um, for the read. Forward smash is usually one of those moves. I mean, I don't want to compare them, right? They, each Meta Knight is a little bit of their own different read for sure. Wow, what a tech. Look oh, at that. Kane making the plays off stage. I'm telling you, man, I don't want to compare, but at this point, <laughs> like, SOH would have hit that forward smash, and then oh. would have been done with ages ago. <laughs> Nonetheless, good pummel goes for the up throw. Not going to kill, but at least you get stage control, and then you reset the neutral here, so Kate now has to figure out, how am I going to land against this character? Up throw, platform with the assist, yeah, and that'll there it kill. Is. Yeah, you know, he had a little bit of uh, house money he was playing on. Didn't get a reward off of it, unfortunately, sometimes. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, but that tech taking that and going into taking that stock was such a big play. And I mean, we're right back in the even. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm talking about. He has like this really good immaculate spacing that he's yeah. having here. So each time that he sees Kate come back on the stage, he's like, fine, I'm only giving you this amount of stick base so I can go ahead and get a whip punish, and you fall for it, so I might as well go ahead and take free money at this point. And getting a 60% lead off of virtually one ledge trap situation. And he's right back into that advantage state with that down throw. But he went for a read and maybe didn't quite get what he was looking for. and. Cade right back into holding center stage. Yeah. All right. Good patience here. Zero percent, man. You have no reason to sacrifice anything to that blaster. You really just keep it a little bit calm. Carry on. Forward air. Really good opportunity for him to see the neutral get up. It's the fact that, like, Cade is kind of conditioned already at this point to feel so scared to go for a roll get up because of how much spacing right. AC has been giving him at the ledge. Just being a bully off stage or not off stage in the ledge trap situation. That is 50, almost 60 unanswered damage. And up. Oh, that. Questionable shuttle loop, but he's gonna get away for it, get away with it. You try to tell everybody like, yo man, this man is fresh, but then immediately he does something like that, I'm like, oh, hold on. He went for like the Daigo, Daigo Shuryu, and uh, he, you know, he got it right there though, you know, you just throw out the S special. The first one was questionable, but that one hit. <laughs> Never doubt the beast, right, man? If you throw it out enough times, you're gonna be right eventually, and he was right that time, and if you're up by, that's, that's the benefit of having a full stock lead. You get some of those extra chances to kind of be a little more risky and go for a yeah. little options. If you do it from behind, all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're fishing for kills. But if you're right. going with the lead, it's, you know, one of those tactically sound plays that you can make. All right, really good opportunity here. I mean, is it that old saying goes, right? A clock is right at least two times a day. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the second time there was going to be the right time. A dead clock. Yeah, a dead clock is right two times yeah. a day. That is true. My clock's usually right, like, all times of the day, but the dead clock. <laughs> and he's just sitting here waiting at the ledge, and Kate has no idea what to do to get by this. He's just not getting off at oh. any time. There's Mock Tornado coming out. It's getting windy. It's got to make some play soon. It's good to go for Mock Tornado at the ledge there. And usually what you want to go for is like the, the strong hit initially is what the knockback is going to kill you. So for him to go for it at that point at the ledge is really good just to cover that all the option. Down smash. I, I respect it because it's so good. Hey, yeah. my opponent might roll. They might panic. Right? They might go for a cross up. But sometimes for smash, it's got low cooldown. It's really fast. You might as well go ahead and use it to the best ability. No, I like the down smash in that situation because it covers rollback mm -hmm. and the uh, get up in place. And especially if he does it when there's not a lot of stage to work with, it can also cover the roll away. It just doesn't cover the, you know, the uh, if he just waits and uh, does a get up attack. Yeah, that's or something true. like that. That's kind of the only thing that really covers that option. And 
He's just throwing out shuttle loop. Uh, that's you know he's he's uh, one for four right now. <laughs> oh, and the down smash. Will That'll finally, take yeah. We mentioned earlier, right? I did clock is at least right twice a day. It's gonna pay off either way. AC finally moving up in the world of Meta Knight. This is the first time I actually have ever seen his Meta Knight. Oh, really? Yeah, I have not seen it at all. It's pretty legit. He throws that shuttle loop, you know, in uh, random situations. It's like it we off. say, I haven't seen Daigo's. <laughs> like, it's out of two out of five times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Daigo's Ryu is really legit. You know, he, he parries, and then he throws, you know, Shoryu, and then, and then you lose, man. That's what happens. Yeah, and Cade, uh, no switch. He's going right back to Wolf, and I didn't see the stage. Are we going to go right back to the same stage, too? Well, this man is a fraud, too. Oh, no, got smashed. Why are you wearing the Falco shirt, and then you're not even playing the character? See, he's smart because he knows he knows I'm right. He, it's he, a betrayal. Yeah, of the... What a fraud. <laughs> what a fraud. I like his hoodie, though. Man, I, I was supposed to be the savage one today. You're calling people frauds left and right, man. <laughs> man, what broke, is this? We broke from routine. That's what yeah. happened. <laughs> <laughs> I just fell back to my bad habits of just being not, you know, savant more than savage. And you're just <laughs> calling people frauds. I mean, like, this Meta Knight's terrible. Like, what? <laughs> Get out of here with that, man. So, all right, we're back into it. He's, again, we're going right back to the game plan. And Cade is just not being able to land off of one ledge oh, trap situation. That was so good because he went on the platform. He kind of didn't feel that that was going to go out, yeah. play off right. And the patience paid off because Cade was like, freaking, oh, my God, where's the shuttle loop? Yeah, that panic air dodge that didn't get hit by a shuttle loop. And then it comboed straight into landing in the blast zone off stage. And all of a sudden, AC has a pretty good lead to work with. All right, down throw. Is there a tech chase? Not immediately. Kate is not gonna go for that option. At 100, sometimes you can actually just di yeah. down and then go for a tech. Oh no, he's got him. In, oh uh, no, <laughs> not just yet. Good patience to fall. Instead of taking like an aerial immediately, he landed with a neutral air for some extra percentage and some positional advantage. Nice down air tech chase. Get again down smash. Like you said, right, it's really yeah. going to cover those panic options where your opponent's going to roll. Like, it's usually one of those things where you, it's the noob killer, essentially. Yeah. But at this point, I'm like, you got to give Kate some credit and go for that forward smash. That's Although, what I'm interested why he's doing Oh, my God. Got a good mock tornado. Got him with the day negative 12 combo finisher. Yeah. Uh, but what's it called? Uh, I'm interested that he turns around to down smash mm -hmm. instead of just doing, you know, the traditional. You would think he would down smash facing forward so that the first hit would come out on right. the quicker option. And then you can react to the roll and get the back hit. So it, I'm curious why he's doing it that direction. I think he's looking for the wake up, see if he's going to wake oh up. Oh, my God, the day negative 12. Ben Meta Knight, it just happened. S2H, you know, shades of five months ago. <laughs> or not S2H. Yeah. Actually, the funny uh. thing about that combo is S2H immediately back then dismissed yeah. it. He did not like that combo. He's like, it 